Migrants continue to flee Syria. The humanitarian crisis continues to get worse as the four-year internal conflict continues. Our correspondent Nashwan Abdullah now with the story. Shelters, food and health care. These are the fundamentals needs the millions of internally displaced Syrians are lacking. They were forced to abandon their homes in order to survive. Many of the affected people were relocated by the government and received the necessary assistance from national and international organizations. We barely managed to escape from the armed groups, which pose as government forces, but the real government is the Syrian government who accommodated us here. Despite efforts by the government and international relief organizations, many of the displaced Syrians have no access to shelters. Many of the people that left their homes are children. There are also many more in working age that are waiting on job opportunities to try and live a decent life. With over 12.2 million people in need, of, a, of aid and out of which 7.6 million are internally displaced. 5.6 million are children. Two million of these children are not going to school. UNHCR tries to reach all these people of concern with aid. Uh, the problem with the internally displaced is that the crisis is ongoing and it's changing the lines of engagement are fluid so people are being displaced several times which makes it even more difficult the syrian people are facing a violent internal crisis that has left more than 220,000 dead in four years the priority should be to help the syrian people stop suffering by ending all aid to terrorist groups who seem interested only in destroying everything and in depriving people of their most basic rights. Nishwan Abdullah, Telesur, Damascus, Syria.